Okay guys, here is the fourth video in the series and this one is going to address how to apply my protective finish. So for this piece, um, I'm going to be using our clear matte, which is our closest to a true waxed look. Um, not much of a sheen and it is also, like I said, clear, not one of our protective glazes. We will be doing a video for that um, soon, so be on the lookout for that. So if you watched our first video, we showed you how to um, clean and prep the piece. The second video was how to paint it. Our third video was how to distress it. And here we are at number four, um, how to protect it. So all I'm gonna do is take my uh, matte protective finish and clear, and I'm gonna squirt a little bit into this little paper bowl. And as you can see, it's not gonna take very much. And once again, I'm using a damp Klingon brush. Um, like I said in the painting video, it's really important that you use water with my products. Uh, so you're gonna wet it, squeeze it, give it a shake. You don't want it dripping, but you want it just a little bit more than damp. And the product goes very far. So once again, we're just gonna grab a little bit of product on our brush and we're gonna just start applying it. And you can see as it's going on, that it's shiny. And of course, it's only gonna be shiny until it dries because like I said, this is our matte finish. But it really helps because the paint is so chalky. It helps you to be able to see where the product is going. So you're just gonna spread it out with your brush until you're not seeing shiny anymore before you go back and grab some more. And once again, the finishes don't have a smell either, so that makes it really, really easy to paint inside on either cold or hot or rainy days. You can literally throw a sheet down in the kitchen or in your bedroom or even in your bathroom, wherever you choose to paint and go to town. And like I said, the product goes very far, so you're literally um, not using very much. And you wanna pay close attention to pooling. So when you've got a couple places where the, where the wood meets, you wanna make sure that you're getting your brush in there to get all that out because you're just wasting the product. And the best part is if you missed a spot, it will be very evident when you are done because it will still look chalky. So like I mentioned before, one of the great benefits of um, our protective finish is that it does not contain any wax. So say I got this piece completely done, painted, distressed, protective finished, and I decided I hated the color or I hated the distressing. I could literally paint right over the top of it without any adhesion problems um, since there's no wax in the products. It, it literally, you can go right over the top of it, but at the same time, it's extremely durable, so it's not just gonna scrape off. Okay, now I'm gonna do the same procedure <laughs> with my foot in the drawer as I did when I was sanding, just to give me some stability. But as you can tell, it's super easy. It takes two seconds to go across this to seal it.
So it really is um, important because the paint has brush strokes in it that you kind of push with your brush as you're, as you're putting the um, protective finish on. You think about pushing the product down into those brush strokes. So, you know, put a little elbow grease into it. That's the most common reason why, why you will get um, dry spots is because you actually float over the brush strokes because you're not pushing hard enough with your brush. But I can tell you, once you've got your coat on, it dries really fast. So all of this that I just did is dry. And I can see right here an area that I missed, that I floated over. So I literally am just gonna grab some more product and go back over that. And it will look no different from where I where I did get. And it is that simple. So this product dries in minutes. And once it's dry, once my drawers are dry and they're already starting to evaporate, um, I'm gonna be able to put my hardware back on. So um, I'm gonna go rinse my brush and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna pop the hardware back on. And then um, you'll notice that I didn't paint the top. And the reason was I wanted to show you guys how awesome my wood stains are. So if you're interested in video number five, it's going to be back. on so no, how to use my non-toxic wood stains over on. an existing finish. And we're going to use our teak on the top of this little baby. Okay, so now that my finish is dry, we're going to re-apply um, the hardware. So I'm just going to grab my drawers. And like I said, these little crazies are a little bit different than most hardware because they have bolts and nuts as opposed to just screws. And there we have it, guys. So we have prepped, we've painted, we've distressed, we've sealed. And now I'm gonna invite you guys to join me for the fifth and final video in this series on staining. So we're gonna be using my non-toxic wood stain to transform this top into a beautiful, rich teak color um, without doing any sanding. Thank you guys for joining me on this video series. And I would encourage you to follow us on social media and also, if you would be interested in becoming a Pure Home Paint retail partner, please follow the link below and reach out to us. We'd love to have you on our team.